Hey, what's friends? Lewis. Today, going to be making a very special video, and this is my remake of my top 10 favorite games of all time. So yeah, and last time I uploaded this, it was a long time ago, and now my opinions have changed because I've gotten new games, I've had ex more experience with others, and my opinion has just changed more. So I'm remaking this, and like I said, this is my top 10 favorite games of all time for you guys once again, and it's much better quality, real gameplay, music, and everything. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. It's going to be a very special video, super awesome, and I can't wait to get on with it. So anyway, uh, yeah, so let's get on to... So yeah, number 10, Super Mario 64 for the DS. Uh, now, I have played the original N64 version, but this version is for Super Mario 64 DS. It's the remake on the Nintendo DS, which was the launch title, and holy man, this game is fun, and especially with the 3DS. If you're using a D-pad, I don't know, it's just not all that great, so... <laughs> but I recommend you get this game if you have a 3DS. If you don't, do not, because this thing can be a pain without it, so... Make sure you got that circle pad because it really does help and yeah, so I had a lot of fond memories with this. I've actually done a let's play on this if you want to go check it out and as you can see here the footage is by IGN.com so yeah, just downloaded some footage online because I didn't feel like recording any so anyway, uh, yeah this game is really fun and it deserves spot number 10 on my top 10 favorite games of all time. Number 9. So yeah, at number 9 we have Mario Kart DS, another game for the DS, and this one released in 2005 for the Nintendo DS like I just said, and this game was really fun, it introduced online play to the Mario Kart series, had mission mode, time trials, grand prix mode, and of course, the all famous online mode. So yeah, uh... This game, I've had a lot of memories with this game, and in my opinion, it's really fun. And if you guys have a 3DS, 2DS, DS, DSi, doesn't matter, DS Lite, whatever, I don't care, then you should really check out this game, because it is amazing, and it is definitely one of the first Mario Kart games you should buy if you're going to buy a Mario Kart game. So, yeah, it's a great beginner's game, and, you know, it's what I started out with. This is the very first Mario Kart game I ever played, and... It is a heck of a lot of fun, so yeah, that's why it deserves my spot at number 9. So for now, let's move on to... Number 8. So yeah, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. This game is a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game, and my version was for the GameCube, but I don't actually know what version this is, so... Uh, yeah, but this game uh, basically is a skateboarding game, and I'm actually a skater in real life. I love skateboarding, and uh, yeah, so this game had always been one of those games to where I've been like, oh, that's really cool. You can actually skateboard in a video game, but uh, yeah, so it's a really fun game, really fun series, and uh, that's why it is at number eight in my top ten list, so you will, uh, will see one more Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game, and yeah, it's a pretty fun one, so yeah, also you can see this gameplay here. And the music soundtrack was amazing. It came out in 2001 for the GameCube, PlayStation 2, and the Xbox original, not one. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 deserves spot number 8 on my top 10 list. Number 7. Ah, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, the game that revolutionized Super Mario in the form of platforming, basically. I don't know what I'm saying, but Super Mario Bros. 3 is classic. This game was so innovative and just so amazing, so good, and so well put together. Just everything about it, just amazing. And, you know, 
I would not want it any other way, because the memories with this game is amazing. And the power-ups, the world map, the level design, the graphics, everything was perfect. And it just made it so that way the game could be so much more enjoyable. And it was perfect controls, little teeny bit floaty, but still, everything in this game is perfect. And Nintendo, if they could do something like this again, then you would just be, like, owning the town. So, yeah, Super Mario Bros. 3, classic, one to not be feared, or to be feared, or never mind. Number six. Okay. You guys totally did not see this coming, but New Super Mario Bros. Wii is at number 6 on my top 10 favorite games of all time. And you want to know why? Well, one reason. I like it. Okay, not one reason, but still. Ooh, for one, online, or not online, multiplayer. Multiplayer is fun. And I've actually have had a lot of memories with this game. And that's because I have never owned it, and I've just had memories playing it, you know? And because there was this demo at Target, and I would always play the demo. Or not the demo, it was the full game, but I would always go over to Target, and I would play that. And, you know, it was just so memorable because it was a long time ago, and you know how memories work, and... Either way, I still like the game. I think it's a really fun game. And introducing the uh, simultaneous multiplayer, that, that was just amazing. And that was really awesome. So, you know, uh, this game is just a wonderful game. I really do like it. And, you know, that's why, it, that's why it's at number six. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So, no. Uh, goodbye. Uh, what? Um, uh. Number five. Mario Kart 7. Ah man, I do like this game. And that's probably just because I'm really good at it. And you know, that's can be no fun when you're bad at a game. So uh yeah, this game came out in 2011 slash 12. I do not really remember right now, and it introduced two new power-ups, the Fire Flower and the Tanuki Suit, or Tanuki Leaf, sorry, and those power-ups, well, they're alright, I don't really care for them all that much, but you can also glide and go underwater, and these were amazing things, and with Mario Kart 8 bringing the anti-gravity, ah, I can't wait to play that game, and my list will probably change after that, but also the online multiplayer was amazing, the tracks are really good and overall I just really enjoy this game and that's not just because it's a fun game but just because I like it so yeah let's go on to number four what can even be said about Sonic Adventure 2 this game is so amazing no, it's just amazing, and there's just so much to do, so much to say about it, and just, I cannot get it all in just this one small top 10. So, I'm just going to give my overall opinion, I think this is an amazing game, first Sonic game I ever played, yeah, literally, and the story in this game is amazing, I don't even care if the graphics aren't all that great, it's still love watching the cutscenes, still running through City Escape, going through Pumpkin Hill, I don't care, all those other stages, and it's just so amazing, and if you've not played this game, you really should check it out, cause it is just one amazing game, and as you can see there, Sonic's fallen to the city, yeah. so yeah, City Escape, one of the best Sonic stages in, of all time, in my opinion, and overall, this game is just too good to be true. So that's why I put it at number four. Number three. Super Mario freaking Galaxy. This game is so good and so amazing that, like, I can't even handle it. It's just so good. And just having the whole galaxy idea is just genius and it's so innovative and so good 
and if you've not played this game you must buy it it is so amazing and a very good experience and just a wonderful Mario game overall I really do not have much more to say about it because it is just that good and you know that's all I really need to say about it so ah, the music oh my gosh the music is amazing and I don't know what I would do without the music it's just too wonderful <laughs> like Gusty Garden Galaxy the one you're hearing right now one of my favorite songs in any Mario game ever in this game just brings, brings so many song, good songs and everything and that's why it is at number three on my top ten list number two what a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game is at number two really uh well yeah and this is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. This game, in my opinion, is the best out of the series, and they could really do nothing wrong with this. And I just have so many good memories with this game, and every time I play it, I have such a good time playing it. Also, I'm going to be starting a Let's Play of this game soon, so if you want to go watch that, it should be out soon. And you can go back and look at my very first video. It's of this game. Yeah, and that's why it's so dear to my heart. And really, you guys may not like the series, but I do. And that's because I am a skateboarder. I know what it's like. And, you know, it's just really fun for me. So if you don't agree with what I say, then that's too bad. But I think this is an amazing game. And uh, you cannot change my opinion in the slightest. So... That's why it is at number two on my top ten. Number one. Really? Who didn't see this coming? Super Mario World is at number one for very good reasons. Super Mario World is the best Mario game of all time, and I'm going to tell you why. For one, most people consider Super Mario Bros. 3 to be a good, the best game of all time. Or not the best game, but the best Mario game of all time. And Super Mario World does everything Super Mario Bros. 3 does and adds some. It does it better and adds some. So, Super Mario World has everything that Super Mario Bros. 3 has. It has amazing power-ups, it has amazing music, it has amazing graphics, it has amazing... Everything that was amazing about Super Mario Bros. 3 is here. And then they added some. Like, as you can see here, Yoshi. They added Yoshi. They added better graphics. They added better music. They added a world map that is so amazing and just so fun to unlock. And this game is as if they took all the amazing platformers out there in the world, blended them up, put them together, and then added some more innovation and cleverness to it and just uh, made it Super Mario World. It's amazing! This game has so much to do and it has so much replay value and just, it's definitely the best game of all time in my opinion. And that's why it is at number one on my top 10 favorite games of all time. This game, I remember, I originally played this on a website called vized.com. It's a uh, website, I believe it's still up, you can go look at it, and I originally played it there. It's the first time I ever played the game. And you know, I really, really enjoyed it, and ever since then, it's been my favorite Mario game, no, my favorite game of all time, and that's why it's at number one on my top 10 favorite games of all time. So yeah, that does it for my top 10 favorite games of all time. Like I did say at the beginning, there was a lot of Mario games, and like I've said, because I grew up with Mario. So if you don't agree with what my list says, put your top 10 favorite games in the comment section below. That would be really awesome to see what you guys think. And yeah, so not only that, 
but you guys can vote for the next top 10. So you guys just vote in the comments below. I will listen to what you say and maybe even do it for the next top 10, which will be coming out next month uh, when I get it done, I guess. So yeah. I really do hope you all enjoyed this because I had a lot of fun making this and overall it was really good time and anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all next time.